How's it going everybody? It's Whisper DCS again. Today I have another startup tutorial and it's going to be for the A10C2 tank killer. So without further ado, let's get right into it. So the first thing we're going to want to do is come over here and we're going to with a right click turn on our battery and with another right click turn on our inverter. And then with another right click we will turn on EP generator and then come over here it's kind of hard to see but you can see this AP start switch right click that on and we might as well close our canopy here we can do that with a left control C or the left click and hold on the canopy switch here so let this start up and the next thing we can do is come over here with two left clicks set our MC MFCDs to day or night depending on your conditions um, then turn on the CDU and the EGI with right clicks on these two switches here you can turn on our helmet mounted queuing system over here with a right click um, and then we can come over to this side and we can turn on our radio set this to transmit receive Set this to both and set this one to transmit receive with right clicks. Um, next, we can come over here, turn your targeting pod on if you have one, turn your CICU on, GTRS on, and with one right click, set the IFFCC up to test. And then we'll come up to this, these keys that are right underneath the HUD, and click enter, and that will start a bit of everything or of the HUD at least, I don't remember exactly. Um, then we can come over here, set your pressure, I'm just going to zero it out because um, I'd like to do that and we can set our standby ADI. Um, we can come over here and turn on our missile warning system, jammer, RWR, dispenser, set this to man or standby or whatever. And now we're going to start our engines. With the left engine first, you're going to do a left alt and hold. Pull up, pull up. And that will start your left engine. So I'm just going to let that run. Altitude, altitude. And you can see the RPM spooling up now. Also, what we could do now is on our right MSCD, set this to the CDU page. And you can see right here, there's a T equals, and we're going to let that run until it gets to 4.0 and 0 0.8, and then our INS line will be done. Also, what we can do on our left MFCD, it defaults to the load page if it isn't already. Click on the load button here, and then we're going to click load all, and that will load all of our stores that we have into the computers. And at this time also the bit is done here, so we can come back down here and with a right click we can set the IFFCC to on and now we have our HUD. Let's get rid of that. Um, and now we can set our right engine, turn that on with a right shift and home. Wait, sorry, that's a right control home, my bad. And we can come just in front of that, turn on our stability augmentation switches, all of those. And you can see our right engine is now spooling up. Might as well turn our TACAN on here, set that to transmit receive. And your all your lights are here. I'm going to leave them off, but you can adjust them to whatever you need for the situation that you're in. You can turn on our anti-skid here. And now we're just going to wait for our INS to be done. We could turn our APU generator off now with that switch and then whoa, turn out, hold on. Turn our APU starter switch off. I'll just keep the seat armed. You usually wouldn't arm it yet. You'd arm it, I believe, when you're about to taxi onto the runway, but or just before you take off, but it's in the way, so I'm going to leave it on. I'm just going to speed this up until our INS alignment is done. All 
Alright, our INS alignment is now done. So on the right MFCD, we're going to click the OSB button next to NAV. And then we're going to come down here right in front of our stick and click EGI. And then right behind our throttle, we're going to turn the EAC on. And that's about it. So thank you for watching. I hope you found this helpful. It's a fairly quick and easy startup once you get used to it. But there's a couple of little things that are a bit different than most of the other aircraft. Um, so, like I said, if you did find this helpful, I would appreciate it if you'd leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Instagram too, I'll link those in the description, but for time, I hope I will see you next time.